Today, we talk about... Uh, all right. Welcome, sir. That's good. <laughs> so, uh, this is the shoe room, shoe gallery, the shoe collection. So, I want you to take it all in as someone that doesn't really mess with shoes as hardcore as I do, obviously, right? But, <laughs> but yeah, anything that kind of draws your attention as far as something you would maybe rock, something you would want. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't it's picture true. you wearing that, but uh, I wouldn't either. I would just, I just like appreciate them, it. You know? Yeah. Okay, that's fair. Are you a big a basketball fan at all? Uh, not no? much anymore. Okay. Yeah, yeah these are uh, Russell Westbrook's uh, signature shoe, and um, you know he's big on fashion and like loud outfits and whatnot. So this was like perfectly nice. capturing his uh, essence there. So, yeah. what was this? The zero point two? Because yeah, I think uh, this first version is this white and black version that came out. Okay with the Jordan line, because he's signed to uh, Jordan as a, as, as a sponsored brand. And then that was his first show they put out for him with the Westbrook logo, and then this being the second version. Boom, so, all right, that's one. Dope. Oh, I like these a lot. Yeah, these I would actually probably wear. Oh, yeah. I like the, um, just like black and white, but it's like mad shades in between. Them. Dude, I've noticed that with, uh, any anybody I get through here, comics or just friends of mine who just aren't into shoes, like they'll gravitate towards the simpler, plainer shoes, and everyone else is like, "Oh man, how could he yeah. skip the cool <laughs> red ones or whatever?" They're like, "Nah, man, this is just like." I'd be like if I made a character on stage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Colors, yeah. These uh, definitely are um, are uh, a treasure of mine because these are uh, Kobe Bryant's signature shoe, his ninth signature shoe, and this was the Beethoven colorway. I don't know why. The grays and all that tone is equated to Beethoven, but uh, regardless, it's a, definitely a pretty shoe to me. I uh, I try to rock it in the winter time; it just feels like a winter shoe to me. But whatever. Yeah, yeah it's got the, like snowstorm yeah. esque schemes. <laughs> all right, so third of the way there. Kind of cool. Which I'll one? Probably put them in the. They're kind of ugly though, but they're kind of cool. Which know? one? The the e wings. The oh, the e wings. Yeah. All right, so you on the fence on that, or you want to... Yeah, I'll probably put those on my ugly All right, team. All right so yeah, we'll revisit that squad. next segment. So uh, you still got four more to go here. All right. And there is a whole nother wall on the other side. Don't forget that. All right. Uh, Yeezys, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'll keep it simple. Yeah. Yeah, one of my first uh, Adidas Yeezys. Uh, so the top row is all either Louis Vuitton or Adidas or, uh, you know, Bape. Yeezys, except for the one on the far right. This was the first, because, uh, you know, uh, are you a big Kanye fan? Uh, yeah. Music-wise, yeah. So, like, you know, when he started, he was starting, you know, with Nike, and then he left Nike, and then started with Adidas, with this being the first yeah. Adidas shoe he had, first the uh, high top, and then the low tops came out, this being... What album the, was he with Nike, and what album? Was uh, album? He, Yeezys had just dropped, I think. Okay. Right in the transition zone, I believe. That makes sense. Yeah, so... Okay. It was, uh, and I don't know that that was like the, and uh, before I forget, these are the Pirate Black 350 Boosts, uh, comfy, but uh, the, the newer version that he put out uh, later was a lot more comfortable by far. But anyway, yeah, he, um, I think a lot of it came down to, he just saw like how much draw he was bringing, especially when, cause, cause these dropped the first Nike Yeezys and everyone was losing their mind. But then when the second ones dropped, people really lost their mind, especially with the, the Red Octobers. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and then uh, he just realized like his value and was just going to Nike like, yo, I want royalties. But Nike's like, nah, no royalties. You're not an athlete. You're just an entertainer, which nowadays the flip, the script is kind of flipped. But uh, at that time he's like, all right, well, if Adidas is giving me royalties, I'm going to go to Adidas. And then now we're here. So but anyway, and speaking of which, this wall is mainly all Adidas. And then on the bottom, it's all Air Max, Nike still. But yeah. Because now I got to go with the go with Dance, yeah. <laughs> Classic slip-ons, the Spicoli joints, checkerboard uh, pattern. Dude, I had a friend in uh, college who had these, and I didn't know shit about shoes back then, but I saw him wearing these. I was like, yo, these are kind of dope. I kind of want these. Yeah. Boom. All right, so there's a four. So you got two to go. Two to go. All right. My starting five, and then my six-man. Try to pick, uh, go with the PF5. Hey, yeah, the Sandlot colorway. So uh, this was the, did you watch that movie, Sandlot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. this was the uh, the advertised shoe. It kind of came with a cool little uh, box with a tribute on it, if I remember correctly. But uh, I think I've only worn these once there, but they're not bad. 
All right, one last one, man. Hey, okay. Hey, man, I'm sensing the theme here. You're going all... Well, except for... That's kind of weird, man. You went with the, the out-of-the-box uh, Westbrooks, but then all, yeah. like, tonal blacks, whites, generic shit, Pretty which... Much. All right, so this is, like, your uh, stage shoe, and then everything else is, like, your daily wears, I guess? Pretty much, right? yeah, Okay, yeah. fair enough. So these being the Flyknit uh, 2.0, uh, Flyknit Racer 2.0s, if I remember correctly. I have not worn these in phew, probably literally a year or more, but these were, like... Like the hopping thing for I mean, Nike. How many could you wear in a year, really? Well, yeah, that's that's a fair question. I uh, well, I'm trying, man. Like I'm trying to get to all of them. Like some of them I still haven't worn ever, and then other ones yeah, like yeah. I really, really like. So I try to wear them like multiple times. Uh, it's just it's just my struggle, you know. It's like what are you what are you gonna do? Yeah. But anyway, all right, man. So uh, any honorable mentions? Uh, Anything else that got to you, or uh, you think you're good with that? I like the the red ones up there. What you say? Red, red October. Yeah. yeah, those are cool. All right, fair enough, man. All right, cool. So uh, we'll see you on the uh, ugly six segment. This uh, may be a little more exciting. Peace.